Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Would you please welcome onto the stage one of the most beloved figures on the internet ever, Mr. Richard the Dick Coughlin. <laughs> Back there, and you sit that far away from your computer screen when I'm sat there. You don't do you? You sat there. See, hello, people at the front. Peace, my brother. Touch me, right? I wonder what part of the title of this show appealed to you, sir. Welcome. The show is called Anti-White PC Mangina Activate. Right? Don't worry. We're going to bring down the white man tonight. Right? What that means is, at some point, I'm probably going to say something that's going to make you rugby tackle me. But don't. <laughs> I'm glad, you, I'm glad you sat there though, because what it means is like, occasionally you've got everyone else here, right? It's a bit of, there's always a sense of white liberal guilt that, that, and occasionally I do a joke where people go, uh, am I allowed to laugh at that? I don't know. And if you laugh, sir, they'll all look to you and go, I don't know if we're allowed to laugh at this, I haven't checked the manual. What's that black guy doing? Oh, he's laughing. Oh! <laughs> it's wonderful. So good evening, folks. Are we okay? Yeah. Yeah. So if this was a UKIP conference, they'd be looking at you going, oh, 300, what do you reckon? 350 if he's got 50. <laughs> <laughs> they're not racist, they just hate black people. No, they're <laughs> <laughs> okay, so That's where we're starting with that, me just victimising some poor minority. <laughs> the juxtaposition. It's called irony, right? With a good cover. Now, the, um, so good evening, folks. Welcome to the show. Uh, basically, the way it's going you know, to I was going to do it, like, in halves, but I couldn't be fucked. So, we're just going to go straight through. I'm going to keep going until your arse can't take anymore. It's a tactic I've used in many other scenarios, generally not with this many people, but we're... <laughs> so, let's just, uh, first of all, before we crack on with the show, I do need to get some sort of established as to what the fuck we've got in the room here. Um, so, like, so, so, okay, so, can you cheer if you're from London? <laughs> all the people in the centre there, you've just got, you've grabbed all that bit. And, welcome, it's great, it's, and who here is not from London, but from Britain? Yeah. See how much posher they just went there. Oh, we are, oh, we are. Where are you from? Uh, Reading. Reading, right. <laughs> Ironically, a town named after someone who couldn't. Now, the. It's a grower, that one, you'll get it later. <laughs> <laughs> so, we've got people over there, where are you from? Over Maidstone. Maidstone, right. You, can't, you couldn't be posh anywhere. There are people in fucking the West Bank going, fuck, at least I'm not in Maidstone. There's a... <laughs> The only thing about Maidstone anyone ever knows is it's an anagram of I am stoned. For 25 years, that's the only thing it's fucking famous for. <laughs> Maidstone, nice to be. Electricity, floors, carpet, heating. These are things that are new to you, sir. Right, so you've made all the way up from Maidstone. God, but you've slayed the orcs and the fucking brilliant thing. Some of you who are familiar with me are probably looking at me thinking, Richard, what the fuck's going on with this haircut? What is this hillbilly Lego lass look that you're... <laughs> what is this sort of Morris Dancer porn look you're going for? It's just... A, which does exist properly. Now they, I'm inventing it on the way home. <laughs> all, the, all the hankies still come in handy. They have, you could always leave them now. Don't, oh, don't start cringing at that already. You say, where are you from? Uh, Sheffield. Uh, Sheffield, right? There. <laughs> not sure, not sure there at first. Just had to check and then thought, do I want to walk into the Sheffield sort of comedy cul-de-sac dead end? So I can back right out of there and run the fucking Sheffield. Sheffield like, Yorkshireman, my granddad was a Yorkshireman. Two types of Yorkshiremen in this world, essentially. I don't like generalising, so I'll pick two. There's... <laughs> you have two types of Yorkshiremen. There's the one that's the optimist, who's like, it's all right. And then there's the uh, one that's the pessimist, who's like, it's shit, is it? And that's basically... <laughs> those are basically it. My, gran, uh, my nan had Parkinson's disease, and my, gra my, uh, uh, my granddad, you know, positive Yorkshireman, he's like, well, you've got to look on black side, didn't you? I'm like... What the fuck's the bright side is it? The blow jobs are fucking incredible. Now you <laughs> It was during the eulogy, which is a problem, right? <laughs> it wasn't even at his funeral. Now, so but now, okay, so I, I'm I'm getting it, I'm, I've got one of these sort of you know third senses coming on here. I'm sitting there might be people who are from people somewhere outside the UK. Give me a chair. <laughs> oh that's this uh Group over here, you've got a very sort of woo, yes. How, how, uh, where are you from? Finland. Finland! God, right, Finland, Finland, that land of stuff, land and air. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> 
See, this is the thing. See, Finland, when you're a comedian, there are sort of obvious ones. You, you talk to someone and they say, you're American, and you just cancel the show and abuse them for the next hour. <laughs> there are stereotypes. If you're Irish, right, you're, you're obviously drunk. If you're Scottish, you're obviously drunk. If you're Welsh, you're stupid enough, you might as well be drunk. If you're English, you're a cunt who everyone else hates because they're too drunk to fucking care. And... <laughs> And you go all through the other ones and you're one, but when you go to fit somewhere like Finland, that's a bit of a curveball, right? And now if an amateur comedian was here to the right front of you, right? And, and, and they're not, right? Trust me. And if there was... <laughs> they would see an amateur, like not, like not me, would get Finland and be fucked. They'd be tracing back, they'd be thinking, fuck, uh, not what, Finland, what was it? I don't know, to, is, if, was it like, is it like, like Magnus, no, he was from like, no, the ice of the supermarket, I don't fuck, I'm fucked. And then you'd be, and they'd sit there, and but now, personal like me, professional, been doing this nearly 13 years, I've got so much, I've got, back, I've got Wikipedia backed up to the balls on Finland, which is why the amount of jokes about Finland I can wrap off like that instantly, almost, now if I was an amateur, <laughs> if I was an amateur, I would stand here just rambling on incoherently with no general direction in the vague hope that by the time I get to the end of this sentence, you would have forgotten what the fuck I was talking about two minutes ago, when I say, anyone else from somewhere other than Finland? <laughs> <laughs> no, Finland, we got, I understand there are another people from Finland. Anyone else from Finland? Just the Finnish people, so we've got a group of, of Finnish Where are the Finnish people? Put your hand up. Fucking hell, I've got a nice little, I've got, oh, got a little bit of a, that's like most of the fucking room. If I'm UKIP, they're wrong about the Bulgarians, we've got the Finnish coming over here. <laughs> Young people as well, young, good little bit. I'm the fucking Russell Brand of Finland, by the way. I'm a bit like Russell Brand. I'm a bit like Russell Brand combined with a stand-up comedian. That's basically the way it <laughs> Oh, you're booing Russell Brand. He's worth 150 million pound and he's 40. What the fuck does he know about young people? Have you ever met a four? I'm 35 and I can't stand young people. Fuck them. I don't, I don't like anyone who ain't 50 anymore. I, don't, I just want to get beige and get elastic, like elastic trousers. Now, Finland, I know two facts about Finland. And using inductive reasoning and logic, it led me to a third. First fact about Finland. Highest suicide rate in Europe. That's the number one, number one for deaths by your own means, because you cannot hack it anymore. Second fact about Finland. Best mobile phone reception in the world. Highest suicide rate, best mobile phone reception, which leads me to believe they have got the shittest Samaritan service. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's going, phone them up, going, I'm depressed, so am I. You called me, fucking what's going on? <laughs> 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 Phil, I don't know if it, tell me an interesting fact about Finland, go. <laughs> <laughs> Make something up, don't say. Oh, it's got more potassium in the, in the water than anywhere else. It's where the fucking unicorn came from. Shag, you know, brave out. I don't know. No one people, <laughs> think anyone knows. We're, most people here are English. They don't know jack shit about anything, right? They just, they think they know more. Give me a fact about Finland. You, sir, with the hat on. We are all drunk. You are all drunk. <laughs> just like the English, the Scottish and the Irish. And, and, the, and you come over here to learn about, I'm going to teach you so much tonight, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, they, my, what's, that, how, what's the national anthem? Give me the first line of the national anthem of Finland. <laughs> you, but you evil, and, and unpatriotic bastard. No wonder they did. They, you had to swim here, didn't you? They were chasing you out of the fucking <laughs> What's the first line of the national anthem? I mean, in English, right, obviously. Because I know what the Scandinavian's like. Da Danish is basically trying to yodel with a mouthful of wallpaper paste. Right? That's, it's like... Fucking Bill and Ben and fucking, you know, Mr. Blobby. It's like, what? So give me the first line of the National Anthem. I just can't remember it. You just can't remember it. Does anyone remember? Anyone from Finland remember that? You've never sung, have you won nothing in the fucking Olympics? <laughs> <laughs> you must have won something. No, I'm fucking... <laughs> Is it not a chronic alcoholic fucking... Is there nothing in there? There's su it's the quickest suicide... Fucking something, I don't bloody know who can dial up such fucking someone with this. I don't know. We'd have to, right, we're going to crack this by the end of the night. We'll have this sorted. Right? We'll get you on to something. Now, my favourite national anthem, I don't, I don't really, not big keen on national anthems, they tend to be quite boring. My favourite national anthem, opening line, is Poland. Opening line of the Polish national anthem is Poland has not been destroyed yet. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Which is a kind of a sort of a bit of a sort of covering your arsehole job. They probably hope Poland has not been destroyed. They're like, can you put yet? Because just on the same side, we might get fucking sued, right? I don't, I don't want some cunt thinking up trying to say, because yeah, we were destroyed, yes, unfortunately. You know, so, so the Polish, you know, not very sort of chirper on that one. But uh, I will be looking at notes, by the way. I could have learned this. But I, I could be gone. Now, so, I've been writing some extra bits in just for you, right? Just extra jokes. That's just the rules to Minecraft. I don't even know what this is. <laughs> so this, uh, this, show, this show is kind of basically... Give me a cheer if you're from the internet. Woo! Yes! Yes, see, uh, some of you are excited just to be out. It's just not... <laughs> some of you find... Some of you are finding the act of laughter very confusing. You have to... <laughs> You have to watch a video and you gauge your laughter and you think, will I put a, uh, is that an LOL or an LMAO? Or is it a ruffle? Or is it a ruffle lol? Or is it a ruffle copter? Is it fucking, is it, I, you know, and some people get a bit carried away. I got a comment once that just really pissed me off. And it was a compliment. They said, I am literally laughing my ass off. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, that probably isn't my fault, mate. I would love to take credit. I like to think that I am brilliant enough to construct a joke that could literally make someone buttocks fall off from their body. But I very much hate, why are you telling me this? Call a fucking ambulance. Right? <laughs> but the word literally doesn't mean anything anymore, because the word literally is... The Google Dictionary changed the word literally. Because people misuse it all the time. They say, I was literally on fire that time. I literally went mental. Right? I literally did the... And it's like Google has now changed literally to have two definitions. One meaning literally, the other meaning not literally. Right? So, <laughs> what's the fucking point? I'm going to try and say, I want flaccid to be dominant and erect. Right? So, <laughs> so yeah, so we end up with... So, but basically... What we basically end up with here is, uh, is, is a show about the internet where anti-white PC mangina is what people like to define me as based on the fact that I see myself as one thing. Now, when, basically what I've learned on the internet is that there are so many great minds out there going to waste and they're so brilliant and observant and they are, you know, they're just wasted talents out there. You feel like these people need to be put to good work because they say some of the brilliant, wonderful things. And the internet has, I mean, is anyone here, by the way, not familiar with, i.e., have you come by mistake or with a friend who told you this would be, we've got one person, one guy right there, um, someone with, a guy with, a guy with dreadlocks and fucking striking socks on. <laughs> oh, fucking... Oh, I'm fucking sorry, mate. I've never... That's the campest fucking heck of put-down I've ever had in my life. You call this rape and fucking pond, mate. This is... It's root boot. Do I look like a man who's ever fucking given two shits beyond tying this back? I'm only doing this because my hair will... Do... I'm sweating profusely for two fucking reasons. One, it's hot up here. Two, physical exertion. Subtext, heroin withdrawal, right? These things. <laughs> there are going to be some jokes, if you follow me on the internet, and, uh, and this is about my, my sort of general following, this will do for me, right? If this was a chat room, we'd all be arguing like fucking cunts right now. We, we, we have to learn to sit here and be fucking civilised, right? For the, for the sake of having to... You can just sit here to... If you, if you do not like the show, you can't just click X. You have to get up and leave, right? Okay. So just remember that. There are going to be a couple of in-jokes based on things. I'm going to keep the in-jokes very minimal in between. You won't notice many of them. There are things that are just going to be... <laughs> If you don't know who this guy is, I wish I was you! 